guys, my name is April. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you guys how I made this Mario Kart costume. Uh, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe for more future videos, and let's get started. To make the headpiece, you're going to need red and white foam sheet and a headband. I'm using this as a template to show you guys. Take your headband, put it on the sheet of paper, trace it. This is about 4.5 inches up. Bring it down to a half an inch to an inch. Trace. It's curved so it can fit perfectly onto the headband. Do the exact same thing. This is about 2 inches. Cut it all out, you should get two shapes. Now you're going to take your smaller shape, you're going to glue it on the rims of the headband. Cut out a white circle and um, the letter M. Glue it onto the bigger piece and hot glue it on behind the smaller piece that you cut out. And there you go. On to the Super Mushroom Trick or Treat Bowl Basket. Now I got this from Dollar Tree. There are a lot of varieties there. Um, but I think this one's the perfect size for the Super Mushroom. Now I'm using my, Ap no, April. I was about to say April Barrel. Apple Barrel, Apple Barrel Light Mocha. Right here, should I do what they do with the makeup? Like this. I seriously made a mess. <laughs> I painted the whole Bruh. The semicircles are 17 inches long, and you're going to put these aside and start cutting six circles from your white foam sheet. In addition, you're going to cut out two small black ovals and two small circles from the white foam sheet, which are going to be the pupils. Time to glue everything together. So I have this done. I've glued on the white circles onto the red foam sheet, and I have the eyes put together right here. Um, we're going to take the semi-oval and we're going to glue it from one end of the bowl basket to another so it will look something like this. Oops. Right here, like that. You're going to do the same thing on the other side and then you're going to take those eyes and that's like the final step. You're going to glue it on the front. And you're gonna be done. This is how it looks like when everything's glued on. I love this so much. It's so cute and it's perfect for trick or treating. For the outfit, I went to Play Doh's Closet and I bought this red sleeve shirt along with a long sleeve blue dress. I did cut the sleeves and I went to Joanne to get these buttons, sewed them on. First time sewing, so obviously I suck. Sewing's hard, I don't know why. Yeah, it's so messy, long strings. But it's on the inside, so nobody can tell. I'm going to wear this over the red sleeve shirt, put on some gloves, brown shoes, and the outfit's done. To make the Mario Kart costume, you're going to need two trifold cardboards, 28 inches by 40 inches, brushes, scissors, hot glue gun, paint. We have blue, red, black, light gray, dark gray, and white. Um, the materials will also be in the description below. I got these wreaths from Joanne, two for the front wheels, two for the back wheels. Two yellow foam sheet papers. Now I saw this at Dollar Tree. I had no idea what this was, but this reminded me of the um, back car seat, so this is why I bought it. This is actually a paint tray, which is pretty cool. And hold on, two megaphones. Using the two cardboards, you're gonna cut out ten shapes. I'm gonna show you guys pictures of the shapes and the measurements. You be my princess, and I'll be a toad. Follow behind you on Rainbow Road Protect you from red shells wherever we go I promise No one will touch us if we pick up a star And if you spin out you can ride in my car When we slide together we generate sparks in our wheels and our hearts Let's break this down. So, I got the Mario logo on the trapezium The wheel right behind it the bumper beneath it, this is all glued onto the trifold flap. Notice it is slanted downwards onto the side. The smaller bumper should be glued right in between the two tires, and I'm going to attach it like this. And you get that part right Okay, so the back. So my circles should be on top, the bumper should be glued onto the flap near the middle. These two will be painted gray and glued on to the back like this. You can actually use soda bottles too. But I think these are so cool. Car back seat, took it in, 
hot glue it onto the back of the flap. I'm gonna color all this and get back to you guys. I just finished painting and I love it so much. Check it out, check it out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really excited. Okay, this is how the front looks. I'll just turn it around so you can see each side. The side of it. That's the foam sheet that I glued on behind the tires. The back, oops. I attached the paint tray on. I still need to attach these ropes on the side. I'm just gonna, you know, maybe hot glue it on and then I apply tape to it. The taco truck's here. Sorry that I got distracted by the taco truck. It comes here every single day at 11 for the construction workers and my god, it's pretty good. I love it. Sorry about that. I get distracted easily when it comes to food. But here's the Mario Kart. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. I'm going to put everything on to show you guys the final look. Make sure you hot glue it really good. Don't worry, it didn't break or anything. But, hope you guys like this video. Have a happy and safe Halloween. And see you guys next time.